That last video made me think, how would Joe Frazier do in today's era? Now, we put a big premium on size in, you know, modern-day heavyweights. Let's say Joe Frazier was in this era, and let's say Frazier could, you know, train in today's era and have the supplements and the things that they use now. He wouldn't be 210. He'd probably be closer to, like, 220-ish, 225, uh, with his pressure and his tenacity. Let's break it down. Go one by one with the uh, contenders. Andy Ruiz. For me, Joe Frazier just outworks Andy Ruiz. Too much work rate, too much speed. Ruiz could hurt him, but he could both hurt each other. I think, you know, in a 12-round fight, Joe Frazier wins the decision. Joe Frazier versus Deontay Wilder. I'm even going with prime Wilder because the Wilder today, I think Joe Frazier in his prime would definitely be. Let's say in all these matchups I'm making, the best versus the best. Uh, I think that prime Wilder would have had a terrible time with Joe Frazier because you see how difficult it is for Wilder when he gets backed up and he has somebody that fights him from close range. He is so uncomfortable. I think Frazier would beat him up and stop him. I'm going round nine stoppage on that one. Wilder does have a lot of heart and uh, he does recover well even when he gets dropped, but it is a terrible stylistic matchup for Deontay Wilder. Joe Frazier versus Anthony Joshua. This one's a hard one for Joe Frazier because Joshua can fight on the inside. Joshua can bang and Obviously, Joe Frazier has a superior gas tank, but could Joe Frazier's chin hold up to Anthony Joshua? I don't know. Uh, that, that's a tough one, you know, and people are going to say, well, what do you mean? How could his chin hold up to the Wilder? I'm not saying he gets hit by the Wilder right hand, but Joshua has the right hand, not as hard as Wilder's, but he has right hand too. The left hook, the big uppercuts, which is the punch that, you know, Foreman was landing on Frazier at will. Uh, he could throw the body too. I know that's hard versus a smaller guy. Ah, that's a tough one to call. It's either uh, uh, Frazier in the second half just destroys Joshua because he's just too much on his, you know, too much work rate, or Frazier gets like just, you know, Wilder just gets him out of there. Not Wilder, um, Joshua gets him out of there relatively early. <sighs> right now, I'm going to say Joshua in his heyday when he was in his prime and he wasn't tentative. The way he was fighting against guys like, uh, you know, Klitschko and White in that era of him. You know, Brazil, I, I think Anthony Joshua knocks him out. I'm going to go round six, but it could go either way on that one. Uh, AJ Cabiel, I think, um, still unproven relatively at this level. I know he beat two really good contenders, Makhmadov and Dan, and um, what's his name? Uh, Frank Sanchez. I think Frazier's work rate's too much, but it would be interesting because he's a big guy and he could throw bombs. I don't know. That's an interesting one. But I'm going with Frazier on that one. I'm going to say he decisions him. Uh, Tyson Fury. This is an interesting one. Now, for years, I thought Fury was just too big for Frazier and would win easily. But I don't know anymore because he couldn't keep Alexander Usyk off of him. He's going to keep Frazier off of him who has more power than Usyk and probably more, like he's he's better at closing the distance, like more speed. He doesn't have Usyk's defense, and I get it. It was a different style of boxing. Maybe he's not as durable as Usyk was, but I just think Fury takes too many, like, lapses in the fight. I don't think Fury can get him out of there the way Foreman got Frazier out of there and really hurt him. I'm going with Joe Frazier's decision, UD. Uh, yeah, and I didn't think that years ago. Uh... Who else do we got? Daniel Dubois. He doesn't have enough heart or skill. Joe Frazier is beating him. Joe Joyce. That's a tough one because Joyce is big and strong. And he could, he, you know, before the Zhang fights. I think Joe Frazier probably wins the decision. Zhang. I think Zhang gets Joe Joyce. Gets, gets Joe Frazier out of there. I think he's too big and too powerful. And I think he would have got him out of there. But that that's an interesting one. You know, he has good skill, too, for a big guy. But, you know, obviously, Frazier can win rounds. Joseph Parker is a good one. Uh, I think Joseph Parker can potentially win a decision, but I don't think he will for the same reasons that I said. Uh, with, you know, you can't outbox him. He's a tough guy to outbox. I don't think Joe Parker has the power. So, yeah, Frazier, I think, would uh, have his way with him uh, and win a decision most probably. Dylan White, Frazier wins that one easily. Just not good enough. I think he stops Dylan White most probably. 
Um, a guy like Povetkin, I know it's in the former era. He's retired now. I could see that fight going either way, honestly. But I'm going to say Joe Frazier decision. Uh, and then we get to the, uh, you know, big one, right? Uh, how would Alexander Usyk do versus Smoke and Joe? I'll save that for my next video. I think Joe Frazier would be targeted also. Please like, share, comment, subscribe. Peace.